On a weekday afternoon, Dick Brown, chairman of the USS New Mexico Committee, is giving a presentation about the nuclear-powered submarine to an audience at the Branding and Cultural Center in Las Cruces. Brown gives these updates to people all over the state to raise awareness and funds for the crew of the USS New Mexico. We do things for the crew that the Navy cannot do. So uh, one of those things is bringing crew members out here to New Mexico so they understand the state a little bit better, the geography, the history, the culture. And uh, they really enjoy that. We, we usually have five or six sailors about twice a year come visit us in New Mexico. According to Brown, the crew has learned much about New Mexico, and the submarine also has a southwest decor throughout the ship that is hard to miss. There are photos of Carlsbad Caverns, Balloon Fiesta, White Sands, and uh, the bunk curtains are in a special design, a, a southwest Native American type design, uh, including the, uh, uh, the pilot and co-pilot chairs at the diving station in the control room. They're upholstered in, in a southwest de design. Another part of the USS New Mexico that shares something in common with the state is the galley or kitchen. It is named after La Posta de Mesilla, a popular southern New Mexico restaurant housed in a centuries-old adobe building in the town of Mesilla. Captain Mark Procopius, a former commander of the USS New Mexico, shares the story about a contest that led to the naming of the submarine's galley. When we decided that we were going to name our galley, you know, we put it up to the crew, and there were several restaurants in, uh, that were in, in the running, if you will, for, you know, to be named. Tom Hutchinson owns and operates La Posa de Mesilla with his wife, Jereen. He is a former Navy captain and aviator and actually worked with the submarines during his time in the Navy. They sent several of their mess specialists down here. They trained with us for two or three days. Uh, took all that information after visiting other establishments back to Virginia, visited with the skipper, and the final vote in the tally was that they would name their galley after La Posa de Mesilla. Hutchinson and his employees gave the crew members a firm understanding of the restaurant's cuisine. When they come out, they typically spend a couple days with us. We'll take them out to the farms in and around Mesilla where we grow a lot of our produce, uh, let them meet our farmers, let them see the process. We bring them in our kitchen, our ladies spend hours with them. Uh, describing and practicing our recipes and so when they leave here two days later they're pretty versed at producing good southern New Mexico Mexican food. Hutchinson says that it's always great to have the crew members of the submarines stop into the restaurant when they can. You know again we're a landlocked state we don't see a lot of Navy here we certainly don't see a lot of active duty Navy we see a lot of retired guys like myself but the folks that are out there uh, living and breathing it every day to have them come and see us and spend a few days is a real honor and privilege for my staff. They, uh, they almost get giggly. Uh, they, they, they see these guys as almost rock stars, and, and they, they deserve it too. In La Posta de Mesilla, there is a model of the submarine, and in the gift shop, there are USS New Mexico items and accessories that are available for purchase with all of the proceeds going to help support the crew aboard the USS New Mexico. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.